X-Men scan within map. Twas the night of my pen test, and all through the net, not a host was responding with normal flag set. My hacking was hung by this current affair, in hopes that some port would maybe be there. My net was all quiet, not even net barrels chatter. I went to my docks to see what was the matter. Then from Fyodor I found my solution. An Xmas scan may bring resolution. Sorry for the poetry, guys. I just couldn't resist. According to RFC 793, if a closed port gets a TCP packet without a send, reset, or act flag sent, then it's supposed to respond with a reset packet. However, if the port is open, the TCP stack is supposed to just drop the packet without giving a response. Not all operating systems follow the RFC to the letter, however, and these discrepancies allow for OS fingerprinting. I've covered OS fingerprinting in other videos before, which I'll link off to later. This video will just illustrate the point by showing off InMap's Xmas scan option, which sets only the finish, push, and urgent flags, and nothing else. I'll also be using ZenMap, Indif, and Wireshark to help you get the idea. I'm going to be using mostly InMap command line flags for this presentation. However, I'm going to be doing it inside of ZenMap so we get nice output highlighting so it's easy for me to point out what exactly is going on. The first thing we'll do is go into InMap and tell it to do a simple send scan. Now, a send scan is a scan where it sends out packets with the send flag enabled, and depending on what response you get back, InMap has a good idea of whether or not a port is open or closed. Um, send scan is also the default scan that happens if you're logged in as either root or administrator and it has the privileges to do it. Otherwise, it drops back to a full connect scan, which would be dash s uppercase t. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll tell it what range to scan. In this case, I'm going to scan my entire network. And we'll go ahead and start. Another reason I'm using ZenMap, besides the uh, cool syntax, or I should say output highlighting that you see, is that you can use the drop down and choose between different concurrent scans that are going on. And it has a bunch of other nice little tools built in, which I've shown in other videos. This video isn't a general introduction to InMap. For that, check out some of the other videos I'll link to at the end of this presentation. It's just to show you how variances and how people implement their TCP IP stacks can lead to OS fingerprinting. And also specifically the Xmas scan since tis the season. Okay, my simple sin scan is apparently finished. Let's begin to set up our Xmas scan. For that, it's just a dash lowercase s uppercase x. And we're going to tack on one extra thing, the reason flag. The reason we're using reason is we want it to report back to us why it says a particular port is open or closed while it's doing the Xmas scan. Before we start the scan off, though, I want to be able to illustrate to you exactly what kind of packets it's sending out there on the network. To do that, I'm going to use Wireshark. Now, I could use a little bit more verbose uh, flags in uh, InMap to find out that information, or I could use um, the trace options, but instead, let's just use Wireshark. I'm going to start sniffing, and I'm going to go back here to ZenMap and start up my Xmas scan. Now, as you'll see, when I go back to Wireshark, there's so many different packets to sort through, and finding just the right one is going to be kind of difficult. So I've already copied into my pasteboard a little filter to use. What this filter in Wireshark is going to do is show me only TCP port 53, any traffic that has is either to or from port 53, and it's also going to show me only stuff that has either the destination or the originator of 192.168.1.1. Let me go ahead and apply this filter and see what we get. As you can see, port 53, the first thing it does, and by the way, 1.13 is the host I'm scanning from. When it sends some packets out to 1.1, what's inside that packet doesn't have the normal flags you'd see associated with most TCP IP traffic. There's no send, there's no reset, and there's no acknowledge flag set. However, fin, push, 
and urgent is set. Now this is called an Xmas scan only if the idea that the packet is lit up like a Christmas tree with all of its flags set. Well, in this case, all the flags aren't set. The idea is to see what happens with a TCPIP uh, TCP stack when it gets packets that it normally shouldn't be getting. Now, if you'll notice, we never get a response back. Both of these packets are originating from my scanning host, and 1.1 doesn't send anything back. Let's see what happens when we have a different OS. Now, I happen to know this OS on um, 1.1 is Linux based. So let's try 254. This is a Windows box I have. Specifically, it's a Windows 2008 domain controller. I happen to know port 53 is open on it. By the way, back to what I was saying earlier, notice how 1.1 didn't send this back a response. Via the RFCs, in theory, if a port is open, it should just drop the packet and not send any response, which is what this little Linux box does. Now let's look, look at the Windows box and see what it did. So you can see, I think I have these out of order. Let me go over here. And sort them correctly. When we probed it, we did get a response back. And notice we're using the same things for probing. Thin, push, and urgent are all set, and nothing else but we got a response back. We got a reset back. Well, normally that would mean that the port has to be closed. However, that's not necessarily the case in uh, Windows because it responds to any time that those flags are set. It always responds with a reset. Well, barring certain um, odd firewall restrictions and so forth. Let's go back to ZenMap now that we've shown you what's actually in the packet and see what the results look like. Notice that it gives us a reason in this case, it says this port is open on this particular machine because it got no response back. This happens to be one of my Linux boxes that I have set up to have remote desktop enabled. However, if we go down to this box, which is my domain controller in my network, it has no port listed as open on the XMAS scan. However, if you go under the send scan, you notice it has a whole bunch of ports open. Let's actually look at these side by side using the in-depth functionality. Use compare results and any scan we've recently done we can use the drop down box and choose it. Now this is going to compare them. Anything in red is things that are missing from the scan on the left but are not in a scan on the right. Um, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Anything in red means it was in scan A, but it's not in scan B. Anything in green means it was in scan B, but not in scan A. Now, for the most part, on most of the operating systems, the results look the same. However, when we get down to this Windows box, you'll notice that all these different ports that it said originally were open underneath the normal send scan reported as closed underneath of the Xmas scan and that's basically because of the differences in how the TCP IP stacks respond to odd packets. But that's just a quick illustration of the Xmas scan. Now if I had a more complex network there might be other interesting results in here but I think this is pretty good as an introduction. The following links should be useful to you for further research. If you want information on Nmap straight from the horse's mouth go out to Fyodor's docs on the subject. And if you want more information on OS fingerprinting and InMap specifically, check out some of the other videos I've done on the subject. If you're a university or other educational institution, please let me know so I can add you to my list of campuses that use my videos for training. If you found this video useful, please consider donating to the Bandwidth and Research Fund. Thanks to my cohorts, the Informaticon.org and Kentuckiana ISSA groups, Nick at RootSecure.net for the news, and all the folks on the Paul.com mailing list.